Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. All these tacos, I feel like I'm gonna eat all these, but hold on, we just gonna put it up there. Hey, yeah, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Ooh, no man, no light today. Okay, good. Welcome back to my channel. I'm official Jamia, and I'm officially tired, okay? I know I ain't been on the camera, bro, bro for a minute. Because your girl is fighting this little cold, child. She, she got her the cold, baby. Can I have some mild sauces or some mild sauces or something? We having Taco Bell for lunch today, child. And excuse me if I'm glistening, because the way this hot flash is set up, honey, <laughs> please. Whew. Hey, how y'all doing today? Thank you so much for watching my voiceover videos. One featuring Dark and Long Lanay. You know you hood when you put your own sour cream on your tacos. Charge you a lot for sour cream at the Taco Bell. Oh, crazy stuff. I'm gonna put the hot on here. Anyways, I hope y'all been doing well. I am getting better, I think. Because either I'm having a hot flash or this is a fever right now. Because the way. <laughs> hmm. I, as y'all know, I live in Florida. And it's still hot here in Florida. But I was in CVS. And just started sweating like I was running away from the people. Okay. Y'all want some of this? There you go. Terrible. Mm. If you watch my previous <coughs> TJ, hush. If y'all watch <coughs> This is <coughs> real life right here, y'all. Okay. TJ, shut up. <coughs> Mommy is recording. <coughs> You can't eat tacos. No, you cannot. But you can't. I don't care what you say. You see how he disrespect me, y'all? He just disrespect me and talk back all the time. It's the disrespect for me. I swear I'm going to put peanut butter in your mouth just to shut you up. I'm just kidding. Anyway, y'all. In the midst of my sickness. Oh, by the way, this is a, um, Cherry Twilight Zone freeze. Ooh, that is crazy. It's cherry and blue raspberry mixed together. <laughs> Tape it to the wall. <laughs> you ever seen those? In the midst of me being sick, y'all. 
I got caught up in the show you. Why owe you? I'm probably late. And probably all of y'all didn't seen it before. But let me just tell you, if you haven't seen it and you like thrillers, not so much a scary show, but low key scary. <laughs> You is it. I'm going to give you just a brief synopsis because I don't want to ruin it for you. I just have a friend too, brother. I don't want to ruin it for y'all. But for y'all who've seen it, it's featuring the main character's name is Joe. Now, Joe. It's a new kind of fool, okay? If you smile at Joe the right way, he get obsessed with you. He looks you up on the internet. He stalks you. He figures out all of your stuff in your life. And he makes you fall in love with him, okay? Now, here's the thing about Joe. Joe is not cute. <laughs> By my standards, okay? He not... You know, he's not my cup of tea, but these girls fall for him because he seems to be that knight in shining armor. That person who come out of nowhere and he just happens to know all the things you like and don't like. And he comes to stay today. But in the meantime, in between times, Anybody who get in his way or who feel like it's a threat to you, he might kill him a little bit. Just a little bit, he killed him just a little bit. I know you yelling at the screen. How you kill somebody just a little bit? I don't know. <laughs> but this fool here, baby. My baby just gave herself a heart freeze. A back freeze, brain freeze, whatever you want to call it. You okay? <laughs> I hate that. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> drink some cold water, hot water. Did you drink it? So, child Joe was obsessed with this girl back. And Joe, Beck had a bunch of friends. Three in particular. And he figured out that one of her friends was a tiny bit obsessed with her and in love with her. Of course, that poses a threat because you ain't going to get in the way of my love or Joe's love. Of his mama. So, baby, Joe was here for that. And he had to take her out. But if you look at this story of his childhood and stuff, it starts very young, child. And this is probably why my daughter want to go to school for criminal psychology or what is it called? You said it right. I said it right. Okay. Because I be trying to figure out how they be so ticky, ticky, boom. I was so scared to find out why they take your ticket boom. But he grew up in a weird household with his mama and his daddy. 
and then he may or may not have killed his daddy but anyway long story short it's a very good show there's three seasons the third season i finished in two days the first season i finished in one day because i could not turn it off and for the wolves that's on my facebook page and y'all said go ahead and watch it i thank you for that because it was good and my daughter stop giving me that face my daughter was the first to recommend it she told me to watch it like a couple years ago <laughs> i don't know why she was watching it because for those who are under the it's it's not for children okay it's really not there is some sex involved so if you have children don't watch it while your kids are waiting because um yeah it's not over the top but it's enough to yeah but overall very good show <clears throat> i got a matter of fact it was like friday I started it. I was finished by Sunday. <laughs> and I can't talk about the third season until my daughter finished watching it. Ooh, baby. What? My taco just assaulted me. I can't never get through a meal without messing up a shirt, a dress, this a dress. Can't get through one video without messing up my clothes. Son is in the background looking at the stuff I picked up for another video. <laughs> it's keeping him quiet. Leave him alone. <laughs> Get out my box. You gonna work. This real life, y'all. <laughs> so please get out of here so I can finish my video. A new children. <clears throat> my son and my sister are cracking up because my daughter put peanut butter on the plate and TJ is licking his way around the living room <laughs> but he quiet you just have to try it Mm -hmm. He stepped on it to stop it from moving. Oh, Larry. This smart. He's so smart. Oh, my God. And I think I'm going to make a reel of some of his funniest pictures. She's hilarious. <clears throat> Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for joining me on this video. 
your girl finna take some their flu and get her butt back in the bed and edit this video and try to get better so i can put some makeup on i did put on clothes in a brighter day vicky's world though <laughs> i did it today girl just for y'all and speaking of bras it's still breast cancer awareness are you checking your tatas I actually heard somebody say, a female, ask the question, don't y'all feel weird checking your own breasts? No. No. The reason why she said that, and I'm not going to tell you who she is, because y'all know who she is in real life. And if you watch Fox Soul, y'all probably seen it. But she said because she feel like she a hypochondriac and she feel like oh, if she feel her boobs and she always gonna feel something like oh my god i feel something right here oh my god i got cancer no your boob is gonna feel weird because it's it's worse tissue so it's gonna feel like fatty and I, weird but like that doesn't necessarily the bottom line is this if you feel something for real and you if you don't even if it's in your head, tell the doctor. So they can feel it. They can scan it. They can do the mammogram. They can do the stuff so they can give you that clearance that says, yes, you're cancer free. That's all I'm saying. Because people are dying from cancer unnecessarily every day. Because you did not go get the mammogram. You did not go and get tested or checked I have been getting mammograms since I was 27 because my mother had breast cancer at 27 so I have a family history and as I stated in a previous video I had to have biopsies done and thank God I did not have cancer but the point is I checked my tet <laughs> I was going to say my tatas at least once a week <laughs> When you're in the shower, you put your arm up, you check around, you feel, you go around. Check them, honey. I listen. Check your tatas. TJ said, check your tatas. That was that. Okay. My baby's full of peanut butter now. He can't, I don't know what to do with himself. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.